Hello, you're a chin. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your experience with us. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Your chin is actor and producer and martial arts. Martial arts master. Art master, yes. Today we're going to speak about Illuminati, secret society. We have heard so much information about this, and we actually have a, a person who have a very close information about this society. Yes, yes. I can tell you that this is actually a true story. It's a true um, society that exists. These are people that are very, very wealthy. They literally run the world. They overthrow governments. They put governments in. They destabilize or stabilize economies. And they do exist. Yes. Yeah. I watched your film mm -hmm. regarding this topic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Lockhart Unleashing the Talisman. Actually, I, I watched yesterday mm -hmm. and I, for a long time I haven't seen a great story that was catching my attention to watch what's next and next. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for making this film. Oh, thank you. And so I would like to ask, there's so much information on YouTube, mm -hmm. could be true, could be not. Right. And I, uh, this film is inspired by true story. Right. Could you talk about a little bit of the story, which is, was true, not fictional in the Okay, film. so um, David Lockhart, who is my co-producer, um, it's about his family going way back in the centuries, you know, from his great-great-grandfather to his great-great-great-grandfather. I mean, it, they're all, they were all involved in this. Mm -hmm. And so is my dad. My dad is also. My dad is uh, is in the. He's the grandmaster of the British chapter mm -hmm. of the Freemason. Mm -hmm. And the Freemason is connected to the Illuminati's. So yes. can I ask? Mm -hmm. There is a, another organization mentioned in the film, and we know um, we heard about this mm -hmm. uh, organization. It's called High Kabbalah. So yes. So the High Kabbalah is actually part of the Illuminati's. But it's like, it's like you have different sect. So you have a sect that is good, you have a sect that is bad, and they're battling each other. So they are same organization. Same organization, but, but, there are people, but they, people are branching off and doing and trying to... Okay, but how they communicate, how they find mutual ground? Okay, so because they have the inner... Because it's one organization from the start, and so you have people branching off and doing other stuff they have the inside scoop on the whole organization. Okay. And so they're using it for more evil stuff as opposed to good. Okay, could you please tell us who are the evil and who are the good? You cannot <laughs> say that. Okay. I, I, okay, I, I, I see. Myself. And you also mentioned about um, Freemasons. Yes. So they're all connected to each other. Yes. So the Freemasons, let, let's, let's, let's break it down. The Freemasons are the builders from going back in centuries. They build the world, literally. Mm -hmm. They're actually Masons. That mm -hmm. you know, A Mason is a, is a person that builds foot block by block and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. build amazing buildings. I right? see. So they are the, the builders of the past and I still see. now. And so these people, because they built everything, they accumulated lots of wealth right and so they use their influence of their wealth and power to control the way things yes. are do you remember your first moment when you realized oh this is the something that you will become aware do you remember this moment yes yes actually um <laughs> my dad <laughs> right because he's always having these secret meetings and these secret stuff and He's involved in this stuff, and I'm like, what are you involved in? You know, I'm asking him, and it's like, you know, I, I, he would not tell me much, very minimal. And of course, because it's a secret society, obviously, the members are not allowed to say certain things. There is, though, there is lots of, like, if you go, my, my dad could go any country, and he could be taken care of. Okay. Anywhere he goes. And they have like, or they, they meet like, I know for a fact, because my dad flew here when I, when I was here, my dad flew from London 
to LA and I took him downtown to this huge hotel uh, where they had this huge convention of Freemasons from every country in the world was there and you were there I just dropped him off and left because I wasn't invited in because you have to be a member, a member of it even though he was my dad but at the time you already knew what it's about I know I know okay. because my I, I kind of I I don't know all the details mm -hmm. because my dad only gave me so yes. much yes but I know that it exists I know that it's a fact it's true yes and so this this basically this society yes. they literally like I say before they run they rule yes. the world you mentioned that you're officially not a member yes but your dad was yes so do you have a is it your uh, choice do not to be or are you waiting for or I wanted to find out more about it before I get involved in it I so far I have learned a lot about it I know it's real I know what they do um, and I know how they help each other because it's not just about them being very wealthy they use their influence to to help a lot of people to put them on like I don't know if you realize but a lot of our stars in Hollywood they are involved a lot of their careers are made or broken by the by this organization yes, I by the secret society yes I've, he I've heard that too. now you may not you may see stuff happening and you don't realize where it's coming from but I can tell you it's coming from those people yes yeah and you can distinguish right away either the, this side or the other side it's it's hard to say it's hard to say because there are so many things happening like 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 for example 2008 when they had the world economic crash yes the US market the the whole US crashed to the ground do you think that just happened just to happen just it just happened like that this was instigated to move wealth from the masses to the few right how do I know that I know I can't explain why but I know yes I understand yeah. so my next question would be then mm -hmm. knowing all with this information and making film about this topic mm -hmm. do you feel anything fear that you would be uh, you know chasing by them because, yes because you exploring this information mm -hmm. be talking about mm -hmm. I know there's so many inf so much information on YouTube right but right. who knows it's true or not mm -hmm. but you involved this the person David Lockhart who right. actually has this whole story mm -hmm. of his family uh, yes. background what so I mean obviously you always have a fear of whatever will happen to you if you expose certain things but I'm not afraid thank you so much for revealing this stuff because yes. I'm so interested in about this topic I did my research I watched so much videos about it and right. um, I'm here to talk so other people know because right. when we know mm -hmm. then we have a choice right because I think when we don't know, we, be, we could be so uh, manipulated right, easily. Right. Yeah, it's always, it's always good to have knowledge out there but for people. But when we know, yes. we have a choice. Yes. And this is about mm -hmm. have a free choice. Yes, yes. Um, I would like to ask, do you, you said you wanted to, um, you want to do your research, but at the end, do you want to be committed in the society because you, if you have if you think oh it may help you your career mm -hmm. it's like a you know yeah it's like a play with the evil I yes. can get this if yes. I'm gonna do this right. do you have this kind of thought in your mind or actually actually I I not for the, not for this exact reason that you're saying but I I wanted to be a part of it um, and I will be a part of it actually um, you know for sure yes I have actually I cannot say but I have friends that already got involved in it and you cannot just go in you have to be recommended by someone that's already in and that's the only way you can get in yes. right and of course it's not just about just get in you have to do a lot of work you have to do a lot of studies a lot of a lot of exams a lot of you have to have a lot of knowledge you have to learn all the secrets they, they have 
they have different like you could go somewhere and there is people there right and they can recognize each other by literally the way they hold their cup the way they hold their fork the way they make gestures the way they put their hand there's lots of detail that is there but not a lot of people are aware of it so I could be sitting across a room and if I was one and they were one we recognize each other and based on just movement. how we move how we do just yeah and the communication can happen so you see each other you can um, distinguish each other exactly but can you communicate somehow do you see in the eyes do you see if your movement would be this way or that way and the other person yes, can exactly yes. know what it's yes absolutely about. absolutely absolutely once they once you're in a room with someone that is also involved in the society you can recognize them and then you can approach them you know because they're you they're like your brothers they're in the same organization they're brothers in our sisters I feel like it's very fragile like line mm -hmm. between one step left or right mm -hmm. you don't know who is bad or good who is gonna really be yeah but you know it's like I mean like I say there are signs that you have to read that you can read through the lines because the people who are involved the people who are involved they do know the same codes so okay. if I do something they will recognize that oh that's my brother you know he's in the same society that I am in you know they can recognize by just by your movement by your signs by whatever mm -hmm. you know and it goes I mean it's very in-depth that's why getting into the society it's not just like I say it's like entering a college and doing like a degree in it you know you have to know a lot of knowledge you, you know also, which you are taught yeah you also said that government involved government is involved a lot of those guys are put in by those people yeah, into yeah, government yeah. they make it possible for them to go into government even the, even if they were gonna fail it's still they those guys in the background still make it possible yes through whatever means so what do you think is there anything else behind Illuminati there's a lot I mean like I say I only know the surface because I'm not directly involved I know that it's I know for a fact that it's a real society I know kind of have an idea of what they do and how they they make things happen but from me getting into it myself is when I will be more comfortable to talk about yes you know yes, yes, the yes. more in-depth details uh -huh. of it there's so many films mm -hmm. music right uh, you can read the you know the words you can listen what they're thinking about yes. and films is about this topic there's a uh, by the way there's a lot of musicians involved yes, as well yes. right you just don't know it yes but they are involved but yeah. You know, you also can see in the music videos these gest gestures that you right, mentioned. Right, right. That you can, they can recognize each other. Right, right. So some of these films they involve tortures. Yeah, Is this I true? mean, I mean, like I say, any society that you have, um, there is always that aspect of the evil and the good, right? And in some parts of it, there is there is stuff that is not kosher or evil and then there's other parts of it that is okay, very good yeah, so see. in any society if you go back like way back in history like for example in David's case from Scotland and England Robert the Bruce those guys from way back mm -hmm. then you know he literally fought for his country but he was betrayed by his own countrymen because they wanted something else mm -hmm. and so they make it happen what they wanted okay. you know and uh, you know this character in your film mm -hmm. he was a part of Illuminati and then he abandoned mm -hmm. his people and became part of the high cabal right so through this uh, message I can see the Illuminati is the part that 
fights for good right. and Kharkabal is for them. Yes, yes. And they also mentioned about Illuminati revolution mm -hmm. that is going to happen when right. people finally can, from surviving, mm -hmm. finally to thrive. Right. Uh, do you believe in this? Oh, yes. I mean, take it back way back, like back in centuries back. This has been going on for centuries. It's, it's not something that just started yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's been going on even when you remember the Crusaders. Yes. Way back. This stuff has been going on for centuries and it goes, it's evolving and evolving and evolving into mm -hmm. to our present society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it has a different face, but it's still there. Do you think we live in this small time when it's actually is going to happen? There, so a lot of people are becoming more aware and more aware of everything, because as we as we get, as society advances, we get smarter, mm -hmm. and people have a more a, a consciousness that is more to the current time. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, definitely people are are gonna be into that type of you know mm -hmm. wanting to to take control of their lives and take control more of what is of what is happening right now with their lives you know mm -hmm. and they don't want to be controlled by anyone they want to control their own lives you know and so be, these people behind the scenes they're very powerful if you don't conform to what we want yes then you're going to be taken out yes and so, and he's taken out in front of us and we're yes. like oh we, we went to war, we took that guy out. They don't know the reason why, but there is a reason why. There are these people in the background that say, okay, this guy doesn't want to play ball, so let's get rid of him. And they get rid of him. There's a lot of uh, actors in Hollywood, there's a lot of musicians mm -hmm. that, are, that initially start off mm -hmm. being involved in this. Mm -hmm. And then they, they went to a certain peak mm -hmm. And then you don't hear about them anymore after that. Yes. So there is some, there is some truth to that. Yes. You know, I can't say to the specifics of it yes. because I don't know the specifics of it. But I can say, in general, that there is something behind that. So I understand why musicians and actors, because they are the role models and mm -hmm. other people follow them. Whatever they say, whatever right. they do, they follow them. Right. But. At and then if they're directed by the people who want them to say mm -hmm. X, Y, yes. or Z, yes. so it's like controlling the population. Yes. You know? Yes. And also it's about energy. Mm -hmm. From my study of, I, I, I study Qigong and energy, and I've been a martial artist from I was very, very young, and I've done it my whole life, right? So I know that subliminally, people are brainwashed when you when you hear certain things like certain music or certain you watch certain films you're fed a sub mm -hmm. it's not directly to your face but it's subconsciously yes. you're you're taking that in yes and it's reprogramming your subconscious mind so now it affects your conscious mind the way you think the way you do things the way you feel, the way if you if you're afraid or if you're not afraid or whatever, it literally subconsciously, you know. That's why I don't watch TV. Yes. Well, I mean, you know, there's so many. Yes. That could be one way, but you have to but filter. But there's many ways. They have. You have to filter. So you might you might say to yourself, oh, um, I feel like if I watch movies, it will brainwash me, mm -hmm. or TV, mm -hmm. but. That's only one way. There's other ways. There's music. Mm -hmm. There is so many other. Everything around. There's so many yes. other ways. Even you choose the food. Yes, there's so it. many other ways they can affect you mm -hmm. that you don't even realize it. Exactly. We're yes. all affected by a lot of different stimuluses yes. all around us. Yes. Now, which one is coming from where? Exactly. How, you don't know. Exactly. So it's hard to say, oh, I'm not going to watch TV, therefore I'm safe. No, you're not exactly. safe. You you can be affected in other ways. What would you, from your point of view, knowing this 
inside information would share with the uh, audience and say from your heart mm -hmm. to direct them mm -hmm. in, a, you know, in the right way to, to have a choice which side or do, you, do they want to know about it? Do they want to be aware of this? What would you suggest for this new generation or for the people who are going to watch us? I'm sure. I'm sure people are always wanting to know about this stuff because of curiosity, because a lot of people um, don't really believe in this stuff. They think it's a made-up story. It's a, some kind of conspiracy theorist. Um, that's there. Are, other people are use, trying to say to brainwash them. But from my perspective, and fr and my knowledge, I can tell you, you know, as I said before, that this is for real. Um, these people do exist. And these people do do things that are that you see every day that you you're like wow what just happened you know but you have no idea why it happened or who is doing it or who is behind it but these people are Thank doing you. stuff all the time so my advice to anyone is to just be open and be open to possibilities of of acquiring knowledge is always good to be open and and you know and try to accumulate as much knowledge as you can for yourself okay. you know so it's you know I think it's um, it's it's just based on each individual person and what they what they're curious about mm -hmm. but but I can say that it, it does exist it exists. Mm -hmm. yes so I think we answered the question about the Illuminati, it is exist. And if you want to find more information, it's on YouTube. You can search and uh, there are plenty of information, but there's no conspiracy. So many people in LA know what about. You don't have to even say, they just know. Yes. Um, and it's up to you if you want to believe it or not, but we, we're here with the answer. Thank you yes. for watching us. Thank you so much. Thank you, you for having me and thank you for uh, exchanging the knowledge with me and uh, I'm sharing with you uh, what I know about it.